Most of the following videos in this playlist involve screen captures of the Zen software. To be able to comfortably read the text in the various buttons and control elements I will interact with during this training, I strongly recommend you increase the resolution of the YouTube video to the maximum possible and watch it in full screen mode. Typically, the controls to do that are either in the bottom right or uh, top right of the YouTube video. If you've adjusted the size and resolution of this video for comfortable viewing, let's continue with the training. Once we have focused on a sample by eye using the Locate tab, we're ready to start confocal imaging. To do that, we're going to click on the Acquisition tab, and that will switch the microscope into confocal mode. So to optimally use a confocal microscope, you need a basic understanding of how it works, which you can get from my confocal lecture uh, which is on the same YouTube channel. In brief, uh, just as a reminder, a laser scanning confocal microscope tightly focuses a laser beam through the objective on a small spot in the sample. This will excite fluorophores, which emit lower energy, longer wavelength photons. Those photons, uh, some of them, are collected by the objective and sent to a detector, and that detector is inside the box on the left-hand side of the microscope. That's that big white box that says LSM 900. So the detector that the photons uh, eventually reach is not a camera, but something called a photomultiplier tube, or a PMT, which senses how many photons reach it, and then sends a number proportional to how many photons reach it very quickly back to the computer. Then the microscope scans the laser in a raster pattern throughout the sample, and as it is scanning, this process repeats over and over. So the detector at each point feeds the computer an intensity value proportional to how many photons reach that point. The computer then puts this all together on the fly on the screen and forms an image point by point from left to right and top to bottom. Now the reason the microscope is called a confocal is that on the way back to the detector there's an iris with a hole called a pinhole which is placed at a very clever location in the light path where if the pinhole is the right diameter, light that comes from things that are out of focus in the sample is rejected. So things that would look blurry if you looked by eye, that light is rejected and never reaches the detector. This increases the contrast of images uh, by removing blurry light from out of focus objects. It allows optical sectioning of thick samples, so you only are effectively seeing as if you had cut uh, a thinner section of whatever it is you have. And then it also facilitates taking stacks of images in the Z dimension that you can then reconstruct in three dimensions. So all of the parameters that I'm going to show you how to adjust are related to this process of information that I just described and which is described in significantly more detail in the lecture, which I uh, strongly encourage you to watch so that you can understand in more detail how this works. So we will see, we'll adjust laser power, the gain on the photomultiplier tube, the speed and area over which the laser scans, and so on and so forth. 